Welcome to Sabre Quick Tips. Today's quick tip covers the process to issue an even exchange or reissue with the refunds and exchanges mask tool. When there is an involuntary change due to a scheduled change, the airline may advise to run an exchange with no fare difference nor penalty. For this even exchange, the carrier may provide an authorization code or waiver. Let's check an example. This is the original itinerary and ticket number. Obtain the original fare information from the original ticket by typing WETR display and the line number, in this case 2. Best practice is to print this image because it contains all the necessary information. The airline has changed the flight on segment number 4. As this is an involuntary change, neither penalties nor ad collect would apply to the reissue. The challenge here is to make the system price the new itinerary with exactly the same fare used for the original ticket. Access the refunds and exchanges mask by typing WFR and the original ticket number. You may add applicable qualifiers such as name select, corporate ID, validating carrier among others. Note that when there are several passengers in the PNR, name selection is mandatory and it is critical to check the correct name that applies to the ticket being exchanged. Screen 10 is the first mask in this transaction. Here the original ticket information is retrieved from Sabre's database and the carrier's electronic ticket database. Here is the passenger's name information and original ticket number. This screen displays the itinerary and price details of the original ticket. Refunds and exchanges verifies and displays the coupon status which is in this case OK for travel. Enter an X between the brackets to process the exchange. Place an X in the next field to continue. Note that you can exit and stop the mask process at any time by placing an X in the quit option and the system does not save any input information. The Refunds and Exchanges tool performs an automated comparison of the old and new ticket prices. This is the comparison summary screen, which displays both the original and new ticket amounts. The system has calculated the difference between the tickets. Our example is an even exchange because there is no base fare and tax difference, and the airline does not charge a change fee penalty. Select Next to continue to the Ticketing Instructions screen. This is the Ticketing Instructions screen 40, where you must include the final ticketing information. The new full commission amount is a mandatory field where you input the commission amount of the original ticket, plus the Add Collect commission amount. In this case there was no commission originally, and there is no Add Collect commission now. When the airline has provided a waiver code, it can be added in the waiver field on this screen, unless the airline specifies a different location, such as the endorsement field. You must put it here. You can add endorsements to the ticket or override the endorsements that already exist. It is important to check with the airline if they require the text non-refundable. You have two options. To issue the ticket exchange immediately, or to retain the transaction in a PQR and issue it at a later time. Keep in mind that the PQR will only be ticketable until midnight local time. In our example I want to retain the PQR. The retained PQR shows the fare details and specifies that this is an even exchange with no ad collect amounts. To issue the ticket exchange type W Cross of Lorraine PQR and the number, in this case 1. There are two ticketing fields now, one with the original ticket and one with the new ticket. Type WETR and the line number to open the ticket. Once the new ticket has been issued, the Sabre ticket database is updated to reflect exchanged. The exchange message is also sent to update the carrier's electronic ticket database with this new coupon status. This is the new ticket. The status is showing open. The accounting lines have also been updated. 
Let's check another scenario when the price for the new itinerary with a schedule change does not match the original fare. Here is the price for the new itinerary and here is the ticket with the original fare. After accessing the comparison summary, which is the second screen on the refunds and exchanges mask, check the fares. If the price shows any difference, as in this example, you must exit the mask by placing an X on quit. You must follow a series of steps to run the even exchange. Once outside the refunds and exchanges mask, try to price the itinerary in order to obtain the same fare. Use the original ticket image to compare prices. There are different procedures that might help such as pricing with a backdate qualifier using the date of issue of the original ticket, using a backdate entry with the original fare basis codes, or creating a manual PQ. Pricing with a backdate qualifier is normally the most effective way to recover a historical system priced fare. Type WPB and the date when the original ticket was issued. Here it is, the 2nd of July 2015. If pricing with backdate does not give you the same fare, go one step further and add the fare basis codes from the original ticket. WPB, the original date, Cross of Lorraine S for segment, the segment number, display letter Q and the fare basis code. In both scenarios, if the fare obtained matches the original ticket, be sure to store it by entering PQ after the pricing response. If the original fare cannot be priced through the system, a manual PQ record must be created. If you are already familiar with the Phase 4 creation entries, you do not need to learn any new formats. Type W Cross of Lorraine CTKT to access the manual PQ mask. Use the information from the original ticket to fill in the mask. Use the tab key to move between the mask fields. The price quote summary displays the manual PQ that was just created. The refunds and exchanges mask can now be accessed by using the saved PQ in the entry. Type WFR, the original ticket number, Cross of Lorraine and the PQ number. PQ records used for exchanges do not reprice. There will therefore be no variations to the fare. Go through the first screen and include an X between the brackets. Notice that there is no fare difference now. Include the commission and now the waiver code provided by the airline. Retain the transaction. The price quote reissue record displays all the details and shows that this is an even exchange. Type W Cross of Lorraine PQR and the number to issue the exchange. Let's check the ticket coupon status. The original ticket shows exchanged and the new ticket reflects open. The accounting lines show the exchanged transaction. Thank you for your time. This concludes the lesson on refunds and exchanges, schedule change scenario by Sabre Quick Tip.